welcome back. That's for me. So, why do we want to do programmatic custom views? Well, because all the cool kids automate. Uh, you want to save yourself time because more than anything, you want to protect your little mouse finger. Creating custom views is really, really, really useful. There's no question of that. But it can take some time to get them up and running. And creating them is one thing, and then having to populate them with the right devices. Again, this can take time, and time is time is precious. So anything that we can do to help to speed that up, to, to um, get your time to value out of the system better is a good thing, right? Right. Let's take a look. So here we are at github.com slash HPE networking slash HPE IMC utils. So as you can see here, um, there's a bunch of stuff in here. We're not going to look at them all today, but it's definitely something you should check out. There's a lot of good resources in here. Um, more than anything, realize this is an Apache 2, and you probably don't want to do this on your production system without testing it in a lab first. Highly recommended. Don't mess with your production system without understanding what's going to happen because you could break things. With automation, you can break a bunch of things a lot faster. So you really want to make sure you test out what you're doing. So for me, I've already um, done a fork of this, so I'm just going to clone this down to my local PC here. So we've, we've kind of seen how the GitHub um, works before, the GitHub client. There we go. We'll copy that, clone that down. We'll put it in a directory here. And there we go. Now I'm going to go find it. And then I'm going to open it up in PyCharm. So open it up in PyCharm, one of the things we're going to get first is unregistered VCS root detected. So that basically just means that you've cloned it from GitHub. So we're going to say add root here, and then we'll be able to do some stuff. Um, if we want to change things, we can then commit back up to GitHub. All great, right? So we're going to go in here, and we're going to make sure we got the right um, Python version and terminal version. Because one of the things I'm going to have to do for this library is to make sure I have um, the newest version of the PyHPE IMC library available. So we can see here that we're running Python 3.5, which is good. Uh, we don't need to upgrade to any newer versions at this time. We'll do a pip3 install pyhpeimc. And so I've already got it installed, so this is actually not going to work for me. But like I said, we want to get to the latest version. And if you can't remember what that is, when you try to install it and it says you've already got these requirements, try a pip install dash dash upgrade instead. I'm just going to type that and then hit enter. And there we go. We're going to collect it. We can see it's the uh, 1029 version of the library. And we have upgraded. Awesome. So now we flip over to IMC just so we can see that there's no smoke, smoke and magic, and no, nobody uh, behind the curtain. We're going to go over to custom views here and we're going to make sure that. The custom views are, they don't actually exist. We're creating them and populating them programmatically. Okay, so we're going to go to um, custom views, not device views, custom views. We'll take a look at this. Look at that. Network view here. There we go. We'll flip back over to PyCharm again. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to edit the provided for us custom views. Okay, so um, one thing to, we'll just get rid of all this stuff. And we want to make sure that we've got all, um, all the custom views that we want to create. So I know for sure I want a mobile first view. And then let's, um, let's see, what else do I want? I want a Juniper branch view for my Juniper gear. I want a Cisco branch for the Cisco gear. I want a Comware 5 branch for my HPE Comware gear. And what else do I want? Maybe I want a Cloud First branch. So cool. So I've got all these in here. And so now, um, now that I've created this, I'm going to be able to go and open up this import custom view so you can kind of see what the code is doing here. So what we're really doing is we're going to open up that CSV file. And then we're going to go through each line of that CSV file, and we're going to dump it into the create custom views um, function from the Pi HPE IMC library. So let's run this and take a look and see what happens. Bam. Well, that crashed. 
So let's see, um, object of none type. Ah, so what we're doing here is it's, is it's actually looking for that second object called upper view, which doesn't exist. So we actually have to go into these, and if we would have looked at the original example, we would have seen this. We have to have commas on all of those um, to give the second, second item in that list. There we go. Look at that. We've all created them. So let's go back into here. Refresh. Awesome. Look at that. They, all those views have been created for us, but they don't have anything in them yet. So now we're going to go to part two of this. Right, so I'm going to go into my uh, IP address allocation where I've already set up and started doing a little work on um, organizing my branch and, and making sure my, um, all my branches and my IP addresses are all allocated properly here. So we can kind of see here that um, I had different IP address ranges. So I'm going to go back to the add devs to custom views. And again, I've got uh, Apache 2 license on this. So you guys can reuse this code as you, as you see fit. But uh, buyer beware. Uh, it is definitely all up to you to break your environment. So test it in a lab first. Don't just try it in production. Don't trust me. Okay, so I'm going to go um, take this down here because what I want to do is I want to create uh, a single line for every one of these based on the IP address range. Okay, so I've already got a ab, add subnets to custom views for 1011 for mobile first. And I want to do the next one here is 1012. And I want to make sure I have the exact same branch here, the, the, the name, because otherwise this is going to fail. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get the device or the, um, the view ID for that particular branch. And, and the name obviously has to match. So I'll do 10.13. That's the Juniper branch. We'll do 10.14, which is the Commodore 5 branch, which I think we called CW5. There we go. Awesome. Uh, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop here. You guys get the point, right? You get the idea. So now what we're going to do is we're going to, what this code does is it's going to go through and it's get the current devs, right? Which devices are already in there. Make sure we have that in the list. Um, and it's going to add any new devices that happen to come back from that query. So I can click on the run button, look at it. We can see they're not in the list. And I've got a little bit of extra code that gives us a little bit of feedback here. And then I'm going to go back into the view management, back to custom views. And if everything worked right, we should see these all as red because all those branches are uh, actually turned off in my lab at the moment. So mobile first, look at that. Everything starts in the 10, 11 slash 16. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Let's look at the maybe the, the Juniper branch. This should be, I think, 1012. Cisco branch should be 1013, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, we got an extra one in there. Uh, oh, sorry, 1012 is Cisco. So we have an inconsistency in the environment, which is good. This is, this is how we find these things out. So now I know I have to go fix something, right? And after all, Operating a network, it's a journey. It's, it's constantly fixing stuff. So with that, hopefully this gives you uh, a way to do that just a little bit easier. See you guys next time on the next IMC Management Tutorial.